says it all. He got Evo rolling like a billiard ball. He took a look at all of the animals and from those ones he pointed out mammals. Then for a long time the topic stayed stagnant. People believe not in science but magic. The crusades, the cannon, warfare was rampant. And eventually my friend Newton had had it. He said not everything came from a creator. We've gotta look at the world a little bit straighter. There are natural laws that would exist regardless. Like gravity, energy, but now I digress. Around the same time there was a guy named Steenson who came up with the principle of superposition. Then came Ray, Lene, Buffon, and Darwin. The last of which had an important grandson. Charles Darwin was intrigued by natural history. But therein lied a massive mystery. Ultimately, he could answer that question with on the origin of species and natural selection. We grow, we change, we live, we look, we mutate, adapt, it's all in the book. We grow, we change, we live, we look, we mutate, adapt, it's all in the book. showed his expertise when he questioned Earth's age and the fixity of species. Erasmus Darwin also knew a thing or three, like species could change and life came from the sea. Lamont suggested how those species could change, and holy crap, his theory was strange. Despite the fact that Lamont was very wrong, he helped move evolutionary theory right along. Later Cuvier had an interesting thought, perhaps large events could affect species a lot. Lyell flipped that logic right on its head. He saw changes as micro to macro instead. Then Malthus envisioned the doomsday point, which depresses me so much that I want to smoke a joint. And I can't forget a one Alfred Russell Wallace, whose theory of evolution was nearly flawless. This brings us back to Charles R. Darwin, who wrote a book on natural selection, hoping he could answer that final question. Where do we come from? We grow, we change, we live, we look, we mutate, adapt, it's all in the book. We grow, we change, we live, we look, we mutate, adapt, it's all in the book.